So far, what, what should be the takeaway for our non-professional investor audience that's watching right now? What should we learn and know from what happened there? Well, it's about leverage. It's about making sure that you don't fly too close to the sun with your investment process. Uh, there are going to be other funds similar to this experience that we saw this week where there's going to be a blow up. Uh, so what can you do to control risk as an individual investor or a portfolio manager? You should be buying the highest quality investments that are consistently growing, consistently profitable, and don't have a lot of leverage or debt on their balance sheet. So, for example, look at companies that also have this incredible durability to them operationally so that if they go through a recession or a pandemic or even a depression, they will come out the other end and survive. Yeah, and it's a good lesson. I mean, first off, they can always rely on pros like you because that you get paid to do the hard work to dig down into these balance sheets. But if you're if you're somebody at home that's just watching and kind of fiddling around with the market, you know, it's pretty easy to see some of the, you know, there's two sides to a balance sheet, right? You've got assets and liabilities. Look at the liabilities. Right. Is that why, I mean, for all the sexy stuff we talk about, Chad, you like the maker of Spam and Dinty Moore beef stew? Right, correct. So this is perhaps one of the more boring conversations to be had, but a company like Hormel that actually is reinvesting back into their business, growing and has an organic growth rate of three to five percent and does not have a lot of debt on their balance sheet. In, sheet. in fact, they've got more cash on their balance sheet than they do debt. Uh, so this is a durable uh, uh, balance sheet, durable company. Also, look at a company like Pepsi or, for example, Coca-Cola. Those companies as well, their valuations also make sense. Uh, and that's the most important thing. In a market where you're at a very extended valuation, you could look at these type of companies and own them for three to five years and wow. do quite well. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I mean, think about that. You, maybe you got $5,000 in credit card debt, but you have $6,000 in cash sitting in a savings account. You know you could pay that off. That's pretty amazing that Hormel has more cash than debt. A lot of talk about new priorities for this administration, not getting political, Chad, but you, you obviously believe that defense spending is not going to get crushed because I know you also like Raytheon and General Dynamics. So we think that the aerospace industry is going to open up and do quite well over the next 18 to 24 months. Uh, General Dynamics, as well as Raytheon, have been, uh, the valuations have been compressed. They are an industrial. We think that overall, that uh, also defense spending is going to be quite robust over the next 18 to 24 months. Uh, again, similar to Hormel and Pepsi, their balance sheets are very, very clean. And also, they have a predictable revenue line. So we would be overweight this. We would look out 18, 20, 18 to 24 months. We think there's going to also be an increase in, in regard to their dividend. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.